Welcome back. There I have the Bluetooth model XC30860. XC30860. So this module, this is for streaming Bluetooth. And uh, you can hook up to a uh, amplifier. And that was what I was thinking about doing with my uh, Tivoli audio the table radio that we found in the dumpster so here you can see the schematics that was a <laughs> big task for this because this is Chinese model and uh, yeah it wasn't so easy to get the schematics for this model so but uh, on the EV blog we find uh, you can find a discussion there and there's a schematic so uh, and here you can see my setup it's a uh, I used the microscope because uh, the, the soldering job uh, which much, was much harder than I initially thought because, uh, well, um, uh, the pitch was much higher and, uh, or narrower at all, so. But I think I managed. And, uh, you can also get uh, boards that you can solder this out so you can get spread out those uh, connections so it's easier to work with it and um, yeah and here you can see uh, if you're going to solder it's uh, at this small 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 pins it's uh, the flux is uh, everything so Uh, it took me uh, quite a long time to do this. Uh, it was much uh, very unexpected because I was pretty sure that uh, this board was a large board. So, but when I got it home, it was so small. So, but that's a good thing actually. So, uh, yeah. So the soldering process is over. We'll take a look at how it works. So, yeah, and also at the end of this video, uh, I. Uh, I did a mistake, so never finished this uh, mod, mod modification. Yeah, so here I connect my scope, and uh, the thing with this board is that it has um, it has two grounds. It has a main ground and an audio ground. And the one thing we have learned from uh, the forums is that. Uh, the audio ground is not really zero, it's uh, 0.9 volts, so you have to be careful not connect it directly to the same ground. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter for this uh, scope because uh, it's electrically isolated from this power supply that I'm using. Uh, this is a bench power supply. But actually when we connect it inside um, the Tivoli audio table radio, then we have to be careful because then the ground is not isolated from the amplifier. So yeah, here you can see it's working. It was really cool. I just uh, connected up to Bluetooth uh, as if it film. was a Bluetooth uh, headphone. So yeah, and it works. Just, uh, it yeah. works with the uh, iPhone, yeah. and I also 
As you can see in the end of this video, I use my Android telephone, mobile phone, and then also the iPad. But I was filming with the iPad, so I can show you that. So. The ground <laughs> and that's also another thing I learned about the surface is that um, well let me put it in another words when I read the forum at the EV book about this thread, about this module, um, there was some concern about noise, and there, as you can see in the picture, do you see that? It was a um, a sticky tape behind the antenna, the Bluetooth antenna, and then a foil, and the foil isn't connected to anything, but sort of it is if you think about it, because Bluetooth is like uh, what is it? It's um, Bluetooth signals, they are high frequency and therefore um, therefore uh, when you are talking about high frequencies then uh, things change then the uh, shapes and distances becomes components in itself so the shield, even though it's not physically connected it is sort of connected to the ground plane because it's so close to the ground plane so uh, as you can see here and uh, the other thing I was going to mention there, you see the resistor there on the top? Sort of made an antenna there by mistake. Uh, it's just for testing, but uh, it picked up a lot of noise from the Bluetooth antenna. How much the shield is working? And um, what the story behind the resistor though is uh, when you press pause on uh, the iPhone or the iPad or or, or the Android though, uh, the device goes, uh, the Bluetooth ship, the decoder, it goes into sleep or pause and then it sounds like, um, it sounds like it's go going um, high impedance, so you get a buzzing sound in the amplifier, as if uh, connections were disrupted. So what I did there, I uh, connected a 2K2 ohm resistor, and not too little and not too much. And the reason for that is that when the device decides to cut and make an open circuit, the resistor will then keep the plus and minus together. So, and <laughs> I also put it uh, on the other side of the um, capacitors there. But then I got a high pass filter so then <laughs> I lost all the bass. So that was a bad idea. So yeah. And I'm sorry to say that I blew the heck out of this chip because uh, I was going to put the power supply next to this module. But uh, what I did was actually forget to disconnect the module and I blasted it with 12 volts. Wow. <laughs> So I'll have to order a new one. Thanks for watching.